What is up everybody? Too Spooky here, and today is the final day in the week of fives. And if you don't know what the week of fives is, we recently hit 5,000 subscribers on the Too Spooky channel, and because of that, I put out a five fact video every day for a week. Today is the final day, so if you missed the previous ones, make sure to go back and check those out. It's been a lot of fun, but everything's gotta come to an end sometime. Today we're gonna be counting down five facts about Marvel's Civil War. Now this video was suggested by a personal friend of mine, so I do not have a comment to show you guys today. Now before this video starts, I need a little disclaimer here. This video will be focusing on what happens in the Civil War comics, what we know about the movie currently, and what we could expect slash what could possibly happen in the movies. Because the movie is not currently out yet, these are mere speculations and nothing is set in stone. So let's get started. Number 1. So let's begin with what the Civil War is all about. In the seven issues of the comics, the story starts with the United States government issuing a law called the Superhero Registration Act. This act requires superheroes and individuals with superpowers to register with the government. A group of heroes and villains that oppose the act are led by Captain America, and a group of heroes and villains who support it are led by Iron Man. This results in a catastrophic civil war between the two sides. Also during all of this, Spider-Man is caught in the middle because he can see both sides of the argument, however he initially sides with Iron Man. From what we know about the upcoming movie, its story will be quite different in a couple aspects. The first is that there will be significantly less heroes and villains present. Also, due to the fact that there is not a bigger grasp on secret identities in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the issue in this film is whether or not governments should watch, use, and control superheroes. Number 2. The list of those who will be present in the movie is significantly less than the amount of heroes that were present in the comics, like we said before. The movie will consist of Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow, The Winter Soldier, Falcon, Sharon Carter, War Machine, Hawkeye, Black Panther, Vision, Scarlet Witch, Ant-Man, and one more that we'll get to in number 3. The comics feature many more. I would name them all off, but it would take ages because there are just so many heroes involved in this comic. I will, however, sift through some of the big names quickly so you can get a general idea of who is involved. Cable, Deadpool, Blade, Daredevil, Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman, Taskmaster, and Wolverine among many, many others. And as a little fun fact, the movie was originally planned to feature the Hulk, but he was later written out because the writers felt whichever side contained the Hulk would have a very unfair advantage because the Hulk is just so powerful. Number three. Captain America Civil War will mark the first appearance of Spider-Man into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's right, Spider-Man is the final hero that we know of to make an appearance. Spider-Man was not part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe beforehand due to the fact that his rights were owned by Sony. Marvel and Sony made an agreement that would allow him to appear in Marvel Cinematic Universe movies going forward, however. It is currently unknown what role Spider-Man will play in the movie. Because of all the changes, we have yet to see which side he will take. In the comics, he initially sides with Iron Man. He also gives up his secret identity and reveals himself as Peter Parker as part of some publicity stunt. Later in the comics, he is just flabbergasted by Iron Man's plan and ends up siding with Captain America in the end. Number 4. This one is a spoiler, so you've been warned. Recently, some merchandise around Civil War was released to stores, and one of these figures is labeled Giant Man. And if you didn't know, Giant Man is one of Ant-Man's other names, and instead of shrinking down to the size of an ant, he grows to the size of a giant. So due to this spoiler, it is confirmed that Giant Man will be making an appearance alongside Ant-Man, as Ant-Man, in the movie. Spooky stuff! And finally, number 5. Not only will supervillains play a role in the movie, but there is a chance that multiple characters' deaths could also be very possible. The two confirmed villains are Baron Zemo and Crossbones. Zemo was a Nazi scientist who designed weapons for Hitler back in World War II. 
He was one of Captain America's villains. His son, Helmut Zero, will most likely be taking on the role of Baron Zemo in the upcoming movie. Helmut is also a very skilled scientist. He was originally an engineer, but once he read an article about the returning Captain America, he was infuriated and ended up taking on his father's work. We still have yet to see what story he will take on in the movie, however. And now, good old Crossbones. Crossbones was originally one of Red Skull's henchmen, so it is assumed that he will have some connection to Hydra in the movie. Also, in the Civil War comics, Crossbone is known for causing something Civil War is famous for. The assassination of Captain America. As Captain America is walking up the stairs of a courthouse after surrendering and ending the Civil War, Crossbones shoots Captain America in the shoulder, and a hypnotized Sharon Carter shoots him in the stomach, leading to his death. Now this death is not yet confirmed in the movie, but I feel like it has a strong possibility of happening, not only because Crossbones is present, but so is Sharon Carter. After Captain America's death in the comics, the Winter Soldier takes on the role of Captain America, so it is possible that Bucky could take on this role in Infinity War. This is all just a theory or a speculation. I'm just saying that you should all know this going forward so that you can be prepared. So it is possible in this movie that not only Captain America will die, but other characters as well, because no one is safe. And there you have it everybody. Five facts about Captain America Civil War. If you like this video, I promise I will give you one high five if I ever see you in person. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And today marks the end of the week of fives. Thank you guys so much. I hope you all enjoyed. It was really fun to do. And as soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers, the week of tens will be coming. So be prepared and tell your friends. Make sure to leave a comment down below on what you would like to learn 5 facts about next. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.